Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you how to make a 1.14.2 server. My pre previous tutorial will still work, I decided to be, be updated. I should also mention this will only work for Windows, I'm afraid Lynx and Mac users will not be able to use this tutorial. Anyway, let's begin. First off, you want to go to your Tools section, scroll down, and then Install Starbound Dedicated Server. I've already done that, so once you've installed it, which shouldn't take too long, you want to go to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. In here, you want to go across and make a Mods folder. I would recommend naming it just like that. Once you have done that, you want to go across and download these two files, which will be found in the description below. I've already downloaded them for convenience. Once you have done that, you want to put your penguin.exe file into your Win64 and your swell.bat into your stab in the main starbound dedicated server directory. Then you want to go across and edit. I would recommend using C++ if you have it, but that is optional. Then what you want to do is click on Steam Apps, click on the outside of the white space, on the white space here, copy, and paste. Make sure to leave this section intact. Don't delete the plus sign. Equal sign. I did mess. Then you want to go and go into your mods folder and do the exact same thing, just with down here. And save. Once you have done that, you want to go and run as administrator. Once you have done that, and you're running this in administrator, you want to go and press 1. And the process is complete. Press continue, Q to exit, and you're done. If you look in your mods folder, every single mod in your workshop will be linked to. And you can consider this as an automatic update provided you have the mods in your workshop folder. Now you want to go to Win64 and press Penguin. Run anyways, and it should load. Now, since we haven't run the server before, it's going to go across and give this warning. Now, since we haven't run the server before, we haven't created a universe file. So you just want to press start, and it will create us a universe file. Once this says online, your server is online. Before we go across and show you in-game that it works, there's different tabs you can go across and go in, all which I find very useful. Or in the server config, you can go across and do options. Like for example, I would recommend not taking this box. You can change the name of your server, server ports, max players, all that. Plugins, that's the mods with a little pack file. Customization, you can do all that sort of stuff in there. Yes. All that. Now, I'll see you in Starbound. Now back in Starbound, you can see you have Fracking Universe installed. You don't need to have Fracking Universe installed. You can have any combination of mods you like, provided it is compatible. So you want to go to Join Game. Click on a previously made character or a new character. Then, for your local server, that's if you're running your server on your computer, you want to type in this IP address, leave the port where it is, and press join server. 
And voila! You've joined the server. That's your new characters. And yep. Now you would have noticed on the little login screen, there's a section that says player login and player password. Or player and password. And here you can go across and type out an account name to get admin. Press add. And you can go across and type in fun as your account name, fun as your password, and you'll hop on as administrator. I hope this helped, and good day.